Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up your iPhone 13 or the 13 Pro and move data or transfer data over from an old Android device. So first, put in your SIM card and press on the side button to start up the device. So now we wait for the phone to boot up. Okay, on this screen here, select a language that you would like to use. Next, select your country or region. Okay, next, we're going to tap on setup manually. And then we need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So choose a Wi-Fi. Okay, now I'm going to choose a Wi-Fi and I need to pin the Wi-Fi password. Put in the Wi-Fi password and tap on the join button. Now the phone will proceed to activate. Okay, on the next screen, tap on the continue button. And in here, you can set up Face ID or you can do it later. I'm going to choose set up later. And put in a passcode. I'm going to choose one, two, three, four, five, six. It said that this passcode can be easily guessed. I'm going to, I'm going to choose use anyway. And you need to put in the same passcode again to confirm. Okay, during these steps here, it is quite important that you select the right option. So now you want to select move data from Android. And it said move from Android. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer your photos, messages and more to this iPhone. So you need to go to your Android device and download an app called move to iOS. So on my Android device, I'm going to open up Play Store and you need to search for an app called Move to iOS. And here it is. I have already downloaded and installed. So now I can simply just tap on the open button to open the app. And then in here, I can tap on continued and tap on agreed. And I'm not going to send any information. I will choose don't send. And it said find your code. So over on my iPhone, I'm going to tap on continued. And this is the code here. So I tap on continue on the Android device. And in here, we need to put in the code for 05337. And it will create this um, Wi-Fi network called iOS. And it will generate some random number. So just tap on continue. And say so connect to device. So we tap on connect. And say connection successful. Okay, okay, so in here you have the option to choose what you want to transfer from your Android device over to the new iPhone 13 or the iPhone 13 Pro or the mini. So you can select or deselect. So go down the list here and choose what you want to transfer over. You can also tap on add files. If something is not showing in here, you can tap on file, add files to manually select files in here. So you can say choose movie file, videos file, or music files, or any files that has not been included. Um, and you can also choose folder as well. So my files, and then tap on use this folder, and then tap on allow. So you can see you can add in additional files if, uh, if you need it to. Uh, by default, it will transfer messages, contacts, calendar, your Google account, camera uh, role, which is like photos. And uh, so I'm just going to go in here. It's quite large. So I'm just going to remove uh, photos for now. I don't need to transfer photos over. And then you've got display settings, accessibility settings, uh, my files, uh, files I have just uh, selected. As you can see, uh, the transfer are quite limited, not quite a lot. So if there is anything that is not showing in here, just uh, make sure that you go in there and uh, manually select the files that you want to transfer over to your iPhone.
Next tap on continued and then it says preparing on the iPhone. Okay, after a few seconds, it will say transferring from and say move to iOS. So just for the purpose or the ease of this video, I have uh, removed the option to move uh, photos and videos over because it is 12 gigabytes of data. It's quite a lot and it can take a long time. So to keep this uh, process simple, I have deselect them. And here at the moment, it says time remaining is between one and two minutes. Okay, and next is a transfer complete. Your data has been copied to your new iOS device. Some items were not copied, such as purchase apps or media, or media that is safe within apps. And then just tap on done, and over back to the iPhone. So once this is finished, we can move the Android phone out of the way, and now we pay attention to the iPhone. So say continue setup iPhone, transfer complete, so we will continue at this point. You can choose to uh, sign into your Apple ID or you can do that later uh, in the setup menu. So I'm going to choose uh, this option, set up later in settings and tap on don't use. And next we need to agree to the terms and conditions and then uh, tap on continue on the next screen. For iMessage and FaceTime, if you want to set it up now, you can choose continued or not now. You can turn on location services or disable it. I'm going to choose turn on location services. And you can choose to set up Siri now or later on. That's up to you. If you tap on continued, you can select a Siri voice. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the Hi, I'm Siri. And then tap on next. The voice. Hey Siri. So you need to say, hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. So you need to say a few things so that uh, Siri can learn your voice. Next, we're gonna tap on continued and then tap on continued. And I'm going to choose not now, not sharing anything. On the next screen is the screen time page. In here, you can choose to set up screen time now or later on. I'm going to choose set up later in settings. And you can choose to share your data with Apple or don't share. I'm going to choose don't share. And on the next screen is the appearance screen. You can choose between light theme or dark theme. So select one of the options and tap on the continue button. Next, you will be greeted with a welcome to iPhone uh, screen. Now we are just going to swipe up to go back to your home screen. And that's it. Now we are at the home screen. And in here, if you have uh, chosen to transfer your photos over, photos will be available in the photos app. At the moment, it's got nothing in it. Um, then uh, any apps that you have installed on your Android device, you will need to manually install on your iPhone. Uh, other data such as uh, music and files that you have uh, choose to transfer uh, manually over, you can uh, do so. Now there is also uh, a settings. If you have uh, skipped any steps, you can go into settings in here, uh, such as signing into your iPhone with your Apple ID. If you don't have an Apple ID, you can create a new uh, Apple ID by choosing don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. So in here you can create a new Apple ID. Okay, and in here you can uh, set up your Wi-Fi connection, Bluetooth, uh, personal hotspot. You can go down and set up notifications, sales and haptics, focus, screen time, uh, the general uh, sections. We have uh, other things that you can, a lot of other settings that you can change such as your date and time, your keyboard settings, fonts, language and region, and VPN, and a lot more. And then down here you've got home screen, accessibility, wallpaper, Siri and search. And if we scroll down, you can see there are a lot of uh, other features that you can set up uh, for your device. And that's it. That's how you can uh, quickly set up your iPhone 13 or the iPhone 13 Pro or the Mini and transfer the data over 
from an Android device. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.